Okay, I've already taken these ones out of the package. These are the Uniball Signo Broad pigment pens or pigment ink though so they're kind of like a gel pen these i think were like six dollars in a pack on amazon i couldn't find the same deal on blick otherwise i kind of i would have bought from blick but amazon also had like a bunch of different packages that sold them in like combinations but i just wanted to try them out so i bought this pack of three so i'm going to show you i did a lot of research on what the best white pen, white ink pen would be. There's a lot about this brand, Uniball, having really great white ink pens and even they have like a Uniball Posca white ink marker, which is more like a paint-based marker, but um, I think that one was one of the top ones I found too. So, and they seem like a pretty reputable brand for these kind of gel pens. And as you can see, it lays down really nice. And it nice opaque lines. These ones are super great too. I've used them a few times already. Uh, Amazon shipment got here a little faster than the other stuff. It's hard to see there, but there you go. With the light reflecting, you can really see how great silver ink is. And then the gold is really nice too. I don't know, these are really great pens. I hope they last a while. That's my one thing with pens, but I like when they last a while. I mean, I guess that makes sense, but just sad when you get them and they run out quickly. So yeah, if you're looking for a white pen and if you want to try the gold and silver, I would definitely recommend this brand. Yeah, they're very nice. Let's see what else I got here. This I ordered on Amazon. Okay, this one I ordered on Amazon, this one I got from Blick. These are blade replacements for this sharpener just in case I ever run out. This is a, a German-made sharpener. I've used it quite a bit already, as you can see. Okay, so one of my uh, personal colors. So the thing with this sharpener, that's super great, is it's a two-step sharpener. You sharpen on one side first, and you can kind of see it in there. There's a number one and number two. So you sharpen on the one side, and it, it's, it's really great. And it leaves your pencil with kind of this funny funny tip up here where it's like got a cylinder on the top. Then you do the second step and it just helps trim up that nice top to give you a fine point. I think I could even sharpen this a bit more. There's like a stop thing a sign here that just means you can sharpen it all the way to the end and then it will sharpen a nice fine tip. So I don't know, I've I looked around for a lot of different hand sharpeners. This one seemed like a good make and brand. it will say that if you're gonna buy a hand sharpener, go with something made in Germany because they have the best engineering. I don't know if that's true, but this seems like a really good sharpener. The other thing that's really cool about this is, you know, I love my mechanical pencil. It's got these two little sharpeners that are just made for these mechanical pencils. So it sharpens just in the top here. And this side, I think, is a little bit more blunt but also sharpens nicely. So it's kind of a neat sharpener to have. So the next thing I wanna show you that I got is a Tombow Mono Zero Eraser. So Tombow was a brand that I know mostly for the dual brush pens that I have. I showed in those in my previous video, but I think they make like a bunch of other art and office supplies too. So I'm gonna open this one up. As you can see, most of the text on the back is in Japanese, which is cool. And this is a 2.3 millimeter eraser. So here, I wanted a pen eraser just to try and get fine lines for detailing in my art. And you can see it's just like a teeny tiny little eraser nib. I'm gonna try it out. So let me just use this to be graphite, lay down a little patch and show you how this works. So it's pretty nice. It just, it's a nice like fine line eraser and that's kind of what I want to try it out for. Um, my one worry is that this is, if you use this too much, it's probably gonna disappear pretty quickly. But, I don't know, it's pretty neat. Just want to try it out and we'll see how it goes. One thing I'm seeing that's a little annoying is that this tip kind of swivels. I mean, depending on how you're holding it, could maybe be annoying, I don't know. Seems cool, and then I bought a couple refills because I think that this probably will not last incredibly long. I think this one also comes in a square tip instead of like a round cylinder one. So that's nice, it's got a nice little uh, refill case. I don't know how often I'll use this, but 
Um, I thought it'd be neat to try for any like detail work that I might need to erase. Last little things I bought, these are kneaded erasers. Super helpful for charcoal drawings. Yeah, I think that's everything. So I'm not gonna open these, they're just erasers. You guys, you guys know what erasers are. You know how they work. Um, well, if you don't, okay, just in case. Uh, kneaded erasers, you use them to erase stuff as one would expect. So just like this. Sometimes I find that like, depending on how the color, like your graphite or whatever is laid down, they don't always erase like completely because you can still see this a little bit. But in order to clean up the eraser, you just knead it. The nice thing about kneaded erasers I find, I've been finding while working with charcoal, is that if you lay down your charcoal, say say you're doing like your first your first sketch of something, like some silly little snowman or something. If you want to go over it again, and nec the next time you want to be more accurate with where you're drawing your lines, what's nice is that the kneaded eraser will leave a faint amount of what you've drawn already, so that when you go over top of it next time, you can be a little bit more accurate about your line placement, but still see where you had previously drawn your line. So it's kind of like you're able to correct your work with this. All right, hope you liked the video. If you want to share or subscribe, that's cool. If not, whatever. I hope that you're not a robot because I've had a lot of robots watching my videos recently and commenting on them. And it's kind of weirding me out that the internet's like a lot of robots and not actual people. So yeah, have a good day, humans.